Hey everyone, welcome to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about a Safari and what you can do in a, in a case where you get to Safari 403 forbidden error. So what does that even mean? What's the point behind it? What can you do in this very specific situation? So if you just look it up, 403 forbidden error basically means, I'm gonna explain to you right now, it means that somebody, some kind of website actually notices that you are trying to get in, but you don't have the permission to get inside. So this is basically the 403 forbidden error. So you can see, server recognizes your request, but you don't have access. They just don't allow you to do it. And as far as fixing that, if you are genuinely trying to get somewhere where you don't have the permission to, I don't think that you're actually gonna have much success unless you get in touch with that website server. And depending on what you want, like you get in touch with them, make a decision, like contact them and whatever happens, if they allow you to get inside, then good. But for other reasons, you'll probably not be able to get around it unless you know that you should be able to access the website and you have like absolute certainty that you should get there and something is going on on your side there are some things which you can do technically because you can for example just open up the settings scroll down and find the safari section and you can always just clear history and website data this definitely helps because some past information and doesn't allow you to like be uh, manipulated or it doesn't do anything with it it has nothing to do with the new request so all the data isn't going to be relevant after clearing that by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now and also there are some different things which you can do for example reset a network settings because something could have gone wrong with that. You can turn off the VPN because you don't really want to have anything standing in between in case you want to get somewhere. Perhaps it doesn't work from a different country and if you use VPN, you technically access that from a different country. So turn off the VPNs if you use it or like basic Safari troubleshooting. In case you're 100% sure that the fault is on your side, just make sure to update the latest iOS version. Make sure that you have the latest Safari, make sure that you use the stable internet connection, the basic stuff. However, another thing which you should keep in mind, especially in situations like this, is that a Safari is not the only way to access the internet on iPhone. You can always just look up some kind of different web browser and chances are that, for example, Google Chrome will not have the same problem as Safari may have in terms of accessing some kind of website or server. So definitely at first check it out from different web browser, try to type in the exact URL. Also make sure that it is the correct one that you're not making any mistakes. And yeah, try to see if it does work from a different web browser. And if not, then you're probably not gonna have much stuff to do unless you get in touch with that actual website and resolve it with them. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to explain to you. Hope this video has helped you out. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss next videos like this one, which are definitely going to help you out. Leave a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out.